I always appreciated art, but sculpture was my favorite art form. And I'd see sculpted pieces and know that I could do it. And so uh, I'd heard about chainsaw carving and never seen it done, but uh, essentially picked up a chainsaw one day and started playing around with it and it just took off from there. Well, I've done a few mermaids and uh, cigar store Indians. I've done a, a nine foot dragon and uh, a gargoyle. Uh, I've done an Egyptian Anubis, done some fairies. Large piece right there. You see, there were some bad spots in it, so it worked out nicely. But for them to see a real practicing art artist that's getting paid by the university to do something this big is really impressive to them. I thought it was pretty cool, like how he visualized it and then made it out of just wood. I mean, most people can't do that. Because like instead of just seeing the picture and how you seen it, instead you get to see how it's actually made and get the details of it. And also not just seeing your art teacher in class. The best part was he was taking his time to do the toad and I think it was, it looked pretty good. I liked how he did the fur, like just the layers, it just looked so realistic. Well, it's really cool because basically what I think he's doing is it's like drawing a picture but from 360 different angles. So it seems a lot harder than um, just drawing one on paper. So it, it probably takes someone really trained at it like he is to do it, you know? I thought that was really cool. I like getting out of school. <laughs> Same here. The challenge of this is being essentially larger than life, but I, I feel I should stop now and then and walk around it from at least 20, 30 feet away because the proportions look different from a distance than they do up close. It's just neat. I mean, the guy's talented. He, I mean, it's neater than pockets on a t-shirt as far as I'm concerned, you know. And starting off with a project this size, I started off with a 42-inch bar on a, on a large saw. It's the largest one-man chainsaw made. So then as I get the bigger pieces of wood off, then I downsize the saws one step at a time. And so at the end, I'm using a small saw with only a 12-inch carving bar, and that allows me to do a better job with the fur, the claws, the nose, the, the smaller things. My kids love it too. We showed it to them the past couple days on our way home from getting them from school, and they think it's really neat out here. That looks pretty cool.